Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. The United States has taken a fancy to TSMC's world-leading chip manufacturing capabilities. From 7 nanometers to 4 nanometers, TSMC's process is leading. In order to gain the rise of chip manufacturing, the United States invited TSMC to build a 5 nanometers factory in the United States. However, more than 5 nanometers, Zhang Zhongmo has confirmed that TSMC will build a 3 nanometers factory in the United States. Is this selling TSMC to the United States? Is it right or wrong to increase investment in TSMC? TSMC confirms to build a 3 nanometers factory in the United States. TSMC is most proud of its chip foundry technology. It has been established and developed for more than 30 years and has always maintained the world's first level of strength. Samsung wants to catch up with TSMC, at least set a 10-year goal, and it is unknown whether it can catch up with TSMC in the end. Zhang Zhongmo established TSMC in the late 1980s. As a former vice president of Texas Instruments, Zhang Zhongmo led TSMC to the global stage with all his talents, undertaking chip foundry orders from chip giants one after another. With his own efforts, he has changed the IDM model of the chip industry, allowing customers to give up chip manufacturing and focus on chip design, thereby contributing a steady stream of order revenue to TSMC. In addition, the reason why TSMC can succeed is also because Zhang Zhongmo knows how to participate in the competition. If TSMC is willing, it can design top-level chips and participate in the consumer market by itself. But TSMC did not do this, focusing on chip foundry so that customers can rest assured to hand over orders to TSMC. However, the situation that TSMC did not want to see happened. It was involved in a complicated situation and was forced to lose the cooperation with the second largest customer order. In order to make up for the vacancies in orders, TSMC is getting closer and closer to American customers and more than 60% of its revenue comes from the American market. It is estimated that TSMC does not know that it has been led astray subtly. Originally, it was possible to freely trade and cooperate in the vast chip market, but it has become necessary to obtain revenue guarantee from American customers. Therefore, TSMC has taken a step to build a factory in the United States, and the U.S. factory in Arizona will officially break ground in mid- 2021. However, Zhang Zhongmo is not optimistic about the construction of factories in the United States. He has repeatedly stated that the cost of building factories in the United States is high, there is no industrial chain advantage, and there is a lack of necessary semiconductor talents. Zhang Zhongmo is a sensible person, but Zhang Zhongmo has retired. The current head of TSMC is Lou Dayan. Lou Dayan's attitude is to regard American technology as the direction of efforts. TSMC's decision to build a 5 nanometers factory in the United States was also decided by Lou Dayan. However, it is more than 5 nanometers. On November 21, Zhang Zhongmo confirmed in an interview that TSMC will set up a 3 nanometers fab in the United States. In fact, before Zhang Zhongmo confirmed the news, there were rumors in the industry that TSMC would continue to build a factory in the United States, and it was still 3 nanometers. It's just that the official response is not yet determined, but TSMC has left a conversation emphasizing that future plans will be evaluated based on operational efficiency and cost economic factors. 
The implication is that the possibility of continuing to build a factory in the United States is not ruled out. Now Zhang Zhongmo has confirmed the rumors from the outside world, which has once again aroused heated discussions. Some people on the island expressed emotion that this is selling TSMC. When TSMC went to the United States to build a factory, some people noticed that TSMC chartered flights to transport equipment and employees to the United States. Was this move also questioned as to empty out the headquarters? Although Zhang Zhongmo was a sensible person, he told Lu Dayan about the interests of building a factory in the United States, but he still couldn't persuade Lu Dayan. It stands to reason that TSMC should purchase equipment from the global industrial chain again when it builds a factory in the United States, instead of moving the equipment to the United States by hollowing out the headquarters. Is it right or wrong to increase investment in TSMC? If TSMC moves its equipment to the United States, the production capacity in the headquarters area will inevitably decline. Both 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers high-end chips are manufactured in the United States. On the one hand, it will cause the possibility of technology outflow. The right will also face more variables. All onlookers understand the truth, why is TSMC, the party involved, so confused by the authorities? I am afraid that TSMC does not have too many choices. Almost all of TSMC's high-end chip orders come from American customers. Since losing cooperation with its second-largest customer, TSMC's retreat has been reduced. 5 nanometers may still get order support from customers in other regions, but at 3 nanometers, most of the customers who can design 3 nanometers chips around the world are concentrated in the United States. And what you need to know is that the United States does not allow Synopsys, Kiting Electronics, and other U.S. companies to provide EDA tools with the GAA architecture. The GAA architecture is related to 3 nanometers chip design. Without this part of the EDA tools, specific manufacturers want to design it is not easy to produce 3 nanometers chips. It is estimated that American customers will completely occupy TSMC's 3 nanometers production capacity. From Apple to Qualcomm to Nvidia and other giants that may develop 3 nanometers, they will all be TSMC's customers. In the future, it may not be TSMC who decides whether to manufacture or not, but the customer has the right to bargain. It can be seen that TSMC's increased investment may not be correct. Holding the industrial chain and bargaining power in its own hands, TSMC has a bargaining chip. Putting high-end chips in an unstable market may face lower prices at any time. If Zhang Zhongmo had not retired and was still the head of TSMC, he might not have taken the step of building a factory in the United States. TSMC, which maintains free trade and relies on the global industrial chain, is the real TSMC. At this point, whether TSMC can turn around depends on whether Lu Dayan can clear the fog and see the bright moon. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.